Hey everybody, it's Mac from Rev Robotics. One of the large things that we get a number of emails and phone calls on is how do we go through the process of updating and managing our control system. There are a number of software updates that are released throughout the season, especially when it comes to the robot controller and driver station apps, and making sure that things are up to date is really important. This can be quite tedious because of the way that the updating needs to happen currently, which is all over Wi-Fi. We've understood that this is a little bit of an issue, and we have been in development of a new product that we are releasing today. That is the Rev Hardware Client. The Rev Hardware Client will allow you to update and manage all of your control system components over USB or over Wi-Fi if the device itself supports Wi-Fi. So let's take a look at the Rev Hardware Client and get through the process of updating a control hub. So on our Rev Hardware Client, when we install it onto our Windows device, we will be able to see three tabs. There is the hardware tab, which is the one that we have visible here, which will automatically detect any devices that are connected over USB or that we're connected to via Wi-Fi. We have the downloads tab, which will allow us to pre-download the latest versions of the software. So whether it is your expansion hub firmware, the driver station or robot controller applications, or your control hub's operating system, you can pre-download the latest versions and being able to have it when you're at an event when you potentially don't have access to the internet. Last, we have the About tab. This will show updates on what devices are currently supported by the Rev Hardware Client, allow you to check for updates to the Rev Hardware Client itself, as well as having the ability to view your application logs and some troubleshooting tips if you're having difficulty using the Rev Hardware Client. But let's get started by doing the bring up on our control hub. So what we're going to need for this is a battery, a control hub itself, as well as a USB-A to USB-C cable. So we're going to power on our control hub, and we're going to get the control hub itself plugged into our Windows laptop. So while this is going through, we can see that the control hub itself is starting to boot as we have the light. Once the control hub itself has booted and connected, it will automatically register onto our Rev hardware client. From here, we can go ahead and click on our control hub itself and see that we have access to an update, program and manage, and backup and restore. For making sure that we're on the right software, all we have to do is be able to use the update tab. On the update tab, we have the control hub operating system, our robot controller app, and our hub firmware. It looks like two out of the three of these is currently out of date on our control hub. Now we can go through the process of updating either one of these individually, as well as downloading them if they weren't already downloaded, or what we're going to do this time is we're just going to update all of the objects on our device. So we click on Update All. Well, this warning is popping up because of the changes with the operating system and what is happens with our access point going over to a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. So we're just going to update this anyway. And now it's going to go through the process of uploading and installing not only our operating system, but also the robot controller app. When you're updating the Control Hub's operating system, this can take a couple of minutes because the file is a lot larger in size than it is for our robot controller and especially for the Hub firmware. Now that our operating system and the robot controller application are up to date, we're ready to go with this Control Hub. Previously on versions 5.4 and earlier the robot controller app, you wouldn't be able to tell if the Hub firmware was up to date, but now that we've updated to the latest version, we're now able to see all three greens, which means everything that we have for software is up to date. There are a couple of other cool features of the Rev Hardware Client, which includes allowing us to have access to the first robot control console, so we can do things through blocks programming, OnBot Java, as well as the Manage tab for our Wi-Fi settings. Also, you're able to head to Backup and Restore, which will be able to download your configuration files, all of your block programs, as well as your OnBot Java programs, for safekeeping for later. You can then restore those onto another control hub if you needed to happen to switch control hubs at any point. This is a really awesome feature that will help teams being able to restore and save any of the work that they've done across the season. And with that, that's our Rev Hardware Client. If you have any questions about the Rev Hardware Client or any of the Rev Robotics products, feel free to reach out to us, support at revrobotics.com. Thanks everybody, good luck at the competition.